Hello, David Snowpeck here from Snowpeck Games, and this is the first in hopefully a series of devlogs about a VR voxel builder game built in the Godot game engine that I'm calling Voxel Architect, at least for now. It's a VR game primarily targeting the Quest. However, I do plan to make a WebXR version, a PC VR version, and a desktop non-VR version. In Voxel Architect, you construct a voxel world from scratch, no procedural generation, with the unique bit being that you create the voxels that you're building with out of smaller voxels. It's more of an art tool than a game, but I want it to be super simple and approachable with an ease of use closer to Minecraft in creative mode than, say, Magic of Voxel or Photoshop. I'd really like for anyone to be able to jump in and start building right away, just rapidly switching between placing voxels and creating voxels. If you're familiar with any of my other work, you know that making online multiplayer games in Godot is kind of my thing. So of course, I'm planning to add online multiplayer, both so that you can build together with your friends and to have sort of a social hangout mode where you can just exist in the world you've created and interact with it. Maybe with some mini games, you could shoot each other or play capture the flag or something like that. However, it's still at a very early stage. I've been poking around with it here and there for a couple of months, including working on it on a couple of my game dev streams, but I haven't had a chance to really devote any serious time to it. But that's about to change. I've set myself the goal of trying to get the game on App Lab, the experimental section of the Quest Store, in three months. This is a pretty ambitious goal, <laughs> given the current state of the game and the fact that getting published on App Lab requires going through an approval process, so I won't be fully in control of what happens. And the fact that I've got a number of other projects going, namely maintaining SG Physics 2D, my deterministic physics engine for Godot, and the Godot rollback netcode add-on. But I'm going to shoot for it, and we're going to see what happens. So now, what do we have so far, and what's coming next? In the current version, you've got a palette on your left hand. You can choose between two different tools, a brush tool and a shape tool. Currently, the only brush is a single voxel, and the only shape the shape tool can do is a cube. You can choose one of 16 colors, and you can, of course, create your own unique voxels out of smaller voxels. You get all the same tools when on the smaller grid, but additionally, you get to use a couple of different shapes, not just cubes. You're able to save and load the worlds you create, as well as save and load just the voxel library, so you can make a set of voxels and reuse it in a couple of different worlds. And that's really about it. Next up, I'm planning to get the desktop non-VR version, able to do all the same things that the VR version can do, which I need so that I can start on the online multiplayer after that. Of course, the online multiplayer will work in VR too, but the desktop version will make it much easier to test during development. I do have multiple VR headsets, but I only have the one head. Uh, once it's working, I'll probably get my daughters to help me test it in VR. Anyway, that's it for today. I can't wait to show you some more progress, so please subscribe on YouTube, check out snowpetgames.com for a link to the Discord, and more information about me and my work. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.